hello guys and massive welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here my name is enyo if you're an old subscriber thank you so much for coming back to this channel today i'm going batik making and i'm taking you along with me so come let's see how this beautiful batik patterns and fabrics are made right here in accra ghana so basically um the process of making batik is patterning a fabric with wax in which these areas where you put the wax stamps um, do not actually get any of the colors when dyeing. So um, this process usually has different methods to it. So you can either use the wooden um, pattern which is like this one and with this you stamp only once and then you go back into the melted wax and then you bring it back again like that but with the other method which i'm using which is with the foam which has the patterns you can go several times because it soaks up the wax and you can actually put it on the fabric preferably a cotton fabric because the wax is hot and it might melt something that is silk yes so um, i'm also trying the wooden pattern and as i mentioned you go once you dip it into the wax and then you stamp it on the fabric and then you go back in to get another wax and then you stamp it on the fabric again yes so these um wooden um stamps and also the cushions can be designed into different um motives different symbols there are ones like this one which is edinkra you can also personalize your own designs and you can as i said you can go several times with the um, form one which makes it easier and as you can see Musa um, the master behind it all is going several times with the cushion ones how beautiful are these just look they are so pretty back into the wax and then onto the cotton fabric so we are done with um, our stamping of patterns and we are about to go and dye So it's time to dye these beautiful patterned fabrics. So um, let's go to the next stage. So when dyeing, we use the vat dyes. We also add some caustic soda and hydrosulfate. So that is what Musa is demonstrating there. Yes, so these two combined with the vat dyes is what gives us the beautiful colors. When the right quantities of vat dyes and caustic soda um, come together, with hydrosulfate you add what hot water sorry to actually mix it all together and then you add more water to get to the amount that you need to dye the quantity if it's two yards or one yard one yard of fabric um, yes you dip it into um, cold water to just get it wet and then you move it into the mixture of vat dye hydrosulfate and caustic soda you press it in so each part of the fabric gets to actually soak into the dye you flip it over and then you repeat this action for some time yes so just as you can see he's making the um the color go into it so i'm also trying my hands on it and let's see what my skills are <laughs> yes so i push it down so the um dye goes into all um, the parts of the fabric flip it over and then push it in again and then push it down After you wait for some minutes approximately five to ten minutes and then the fabric begins to Change color a bit you then take um, the fabric out of the dye and you dry it in the Sun for some time So this is what Musa is going to do He'll dry the fabric on the floor in the Sun for it to dry totally and for the color you want to actually appear and then you move on to the next stage when your fabric dries up you put it into a pot with boiling water 
you then move it out when the wax is off and into a basin with cold water this is just to remove the excess debris of wax off the fabric you then put it into another basin and then you use um, bar soap not um, powdered soap um, so you use just bar soap to just get your fabric clean this is just the normal washing process hand washing process so it goes into another bucket and then you get your fabric as clean as possible look at how beautiful they are so um, this process is just collecting the wax that was patterned on the fabric off the surface of the um, pot of hot boiling water. So we are done and we have our beautiful fabrics hanging on the drying line. We wait for it to dry and then we move on to the next stage. You can actually um, book a tour or a workshop with me via Enyo Bruku Travels on Instagram or just send me a comment or uh, a DM and I will hook you up with this beautiful experience. Thank you so, so much for sticking around true to this part of the video. Um, I'm glad you, you did and I hope you've learned something. So we are done. We are ironing our fabrics and yeah, we are good to go. And we are ready to make something beautiful out of them. Please, please like, comment, subscribe and share.